Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of straight lines. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that if the ortho center of the triangle whose vertices are 1, 2, 2, 3 and 3, 1, we have been told if the ortho center of these three vertices is alpha comma beta, then we have been asked to find a quadratic equation whose roots are alpha plus 4 beta and 4 alpha plus beta. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have here, the options are x square minus 20x plus 99 equals 0. The second answer choice we have here is x square minus 22x plus 120 equals 0. The third answer choice we have here is x square minus 19x plus 90 equals 0. And the fourth answer choice we have is x square minus 18x plus 80 equals to 0. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. Let's try to solve this question first. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. And it is free for you but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible for you to understand them in better way. Let's try to see the solution. So if I have a triangle with me, whose three vertices are given to me as A, B, C. A, I know already it's 1, 2. B is 2, 3. And C is 3, 1. Once I have the three vertices with me, I'll just draw the altitudes through them. If I draw these altitudes, I get my intersection point of that, which is nothing but your ortho center. Once I have the ortho center with me for all the three vertices, the question tells me this ortho center, let's say is O, this is having the coordinates alpha comma beta. So if I find the equation of line AC, so for equation, first of all, we will need to find the slope. So let's first find the slope of AC. We don't even need the equation of a line. So we'll just use the idea of slopes to find our coordinates alpha comma beta. So slope of AC, if I find out it's, we know basically y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, which is one minus two divided by three minus one. So minus one over two is the slope of AC. So from here I get slope of OB, which is perpendicular to AC. So negative reciprocal of minus half. So it's basically two. And once I get that, I can figure out the slope of OB using this formula y2 minus y1. So I get from here beta minus three and alpha minus two equals to two. So if I solve for this, I get from here beta minus 3 is equal to 2 alpha minus 4 or I can write beta is 2 alpha minus 1. So I get beta in terms of alpha. Now if I use the other idea, let's find the slope of line BC. So slope of BC is equal to, if I use the same idea y2 minus y1, so 1 minus 3 divided by 3 minus 2. So minus 2 divided by 1, which is minus 2. So once I have slope of BC, I can again figure out slope of OA, which is perpendicular to BC. So slope of OA, we again know it's negative reciprocal of this. So it basically becomes half. And from here, slope of AC, once I get it, sorry, not slope of AC, slope of OA, if I'm getting here, I can just use the same idea again to find the slope of OA, which is beta minus 2 divided by alpha minus 1 is equal to half. So from here, I get beta 2 beta minus 4 is equal to alpha minus 1. So from here, I get 2 beta. We know already it's 2 alpha minus 1 minus 4 is alpha minus 1. So I get 4 alpha minus 2 minus 4 alpha minus 1. So from here, I get 
फोर अल्फा माइनस अल्फा विच इज अल्फा एंड फोर एंड टू एडेड अप बिकम सिक्स ऑन दी अदर साइड बिकम्स प्लस सिक्स सिक्स माइनस वन विच इज फाइव सो आई गेट फोर अल्फा माइनस अल्फा विच इज थ्री अल्फा थ्री अल्फा इज फाइव वंस आई हैव थ्री अल्फा इज फाइव आई गेट अल्फा इज फाइव ओवर थ्री एंड वंस आई गेट अल्फा आई कैन जस्ट पुट बीटा टू फाइंड अल्फा सो टू टाइम्स फाइव ओवर थ्री माइनस वन विच इज बेसिकली टेन ओवर थ्री माइनस वन विच इज सेवन ओवर थ्री सो आई गेट फ्रॉम हियर beta is 7 over 3 alpha is 5 over 3 which is nothing but our ortho center 5 over 3 and 7 over 3 once i get that with me the question is asking you to find a quadratic equation whose roots are this so alpha plus 4 beta and 4 alpha plus beta let's figure out that first so alpha plus 4 beta 4 alpha plus beta alpha we know it's 5 over 3 beta is 7 over 3 Now once I have that, let's put it here also. Four times five over three, and seven over three. So from here I get five plus twenty eight, thirty three over three, which is eleven. And from here I get twenty plus seven, twenty seven over three, which is basically nine. So I get this quadratic equation, whose roots are eleven and nine. So I, if I want to find out the quadratic equation, it's basically x square minus sum of the roots into x. Plus product of the roots is equal to zero. So from here I get x squared minus eleven x plus product of the roots. Sorry, sum of the roots is eleven plus nine. So basically it becomes twenty x plus product of the roots eleven into nine ninety nine equals zero. So you get this quadratic equation. And if I talk about the answer choice that we have here, x squared minus twenty x plus ninety nine. That basically becomes my answer choice A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of finding the quadratic equation whose roots are given to us. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic, and we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on J W E. They can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.